hey welcome to my channel motion with nance i know it's been a while i'm sorry but i'm back to give you guys regular content and in today's video i'm actually going to be reviewing a plugin for after effects this plugin is actually done by a juice and they actually sponsored today's video so let us check it out and then see how this works but before i go make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you do like it and of course if you are new to my channel man come on what are you waiting for come on subscribe subscribe all right let's get to the video now so after installing the plugin all you need to do is to go to windows and then you can find it under extension AU Juice Pack Manager 4 and we have other AU Juice you know, script here uh, which are quite useful which we'll get into very soon but I'm going to click on AU Juice Pack Manager 4 when you do this is the first thing you see you can see this is are the free packs that they have already and with this you can actually do a whole lot with this so let's just explore this a little bit so if I click on the starter pack you can see I have liquid elements, slides, liquid transition, shape elements, which are really, really cool stuff. So I can actually navigate down here and increase the thumbnail so you can really see the preview very well, right? Right. Uh, go to titles, go to the motion cafe. These are really high quality stuff that you can actually infuse into your videos, right? And I'll show you that in a bit. So these are essential to kit numbers you know some title animation which is really really great stuff right so if i go back to the product i have some other packs here i have starter pack for vfx if you are heavy on vfx this is for you but the one i would like to explore right now i would like to explore slides so let's get to that all right so before we get to that i can actually move this around or i can actually pin it so i'm just going to click this and i'm just going to pin it somewhere here right and i'm just going to adjust this a little bit okay and i think i can work with this then i can also go to the windows then i can activate the a2's copy ease which is a great script so i'm just going to click so this is the script so i can just easily click it and then pin it somewhere here right and that is fine for me i can go to windows again activate the a2's shifter when that happens this is what you see so i can also just drag this down as well here right so i'll be managing the space so this works for me right all right so let's just switch to this for now so we're ready to go so let's just take a look at the slides which is actually quite interesting so if you're looking at doing a slideshow with just few clicks I mean few clicks as you will see now this is the way to go so i'll click on this and i can just easily adjust this again right like this and then i have action create edit and import so what i would do now i'll click on create so we have different sizes right this is the standard size for screens if you want to do anything for mobile or social media you can choose any of this it works i'm going to choose for standard screen and i'm going to click continue so here is asking for the slideshow name. So I'm just going to title this freestyle, right? And what kind of transition do I want throughout this slideshow? So I can actually select one or I can actually hold on control and select everything or select the ones that I really need for it to make the slideshow. So right now, in this case, I've selected all. I held on control and I selected everything and I'm just going to go ahead and click continue. So this is asking you to upload the music you want to use for the slideshow. So right now I'm just going to click on upload music. So I'm going to select the track I want to use for this and I'm going to choose this and I click on open and then I'm going to click on continue. So this time it's already doing its magic and here it's asking select folder for images, select manually or get from composition. I will always suggest you go with the selected folder. That's actually the recommended one. So I am going to select folder. So I'm going to select my folder here, right? We have some stock images and I'm going to select folder. So here is actually telling you that our algorithm thinks the number of videos or pictures that are best suited for this music, right? And that's fine. And we're going to click on create. 
and here it's just, it's just going to do its magic and it's actually giving us a tip so it's actually done doing its magic and i can go ahead and close it right so let me just zoom out a little bit to see can you see that's actually created all my slideshow so let's try and preview it all right which is really cool you can see we have different transition with the music all right which is cool so by default it actually tries to you know position the pictures but we still need to go in there and edit so so for this image i'm going to double click the first composition which is what we have here right and if i click on this right you can see that this is where the image place order is i'll double click and i'm just going to click this and then adjust this further down right and i'm just going to quickly do the same thing for the rest so The reason why these pictures are not fitting into this frame is because they're actually portraits instead of landscape pictures so that's why we have um some pictures like this and all you need to do is just you know go into the comp and then adjust so i'm gonna go back and then see any other image to see if it's working okay i just need to adjust this a little bit down so come back here look at this so with just few clicks we've been able to create this cool slideshow right as you can see it's actually scaling it has this little bit of scaling in it so which is really really cool right just few clicks like i said right so let us try and see how we can develop this some more by using still using ages so if i go back to the product uh some of the things here cannot really help so this time around i have to make use of the purchase so so i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to look for light leaks right so just over and over this you can see the preview so let me show that right so let's click on that let's see what we have so we have different kind of light leaks collection here which is these are really really high quality stuff uh if you have to do this from scratch it's actually going to take you some time so and with this it does make your job really really easy and faster to do so i'm actually going to just look for one of the light clicks you can use i think this looks cool right so i'm just going to click this so we can see that our light clicks have been imported here so let me just adjust this right i can adjust it to this point and if i play over this can you see the light list is actually giving you some really really cool details really really cool details which is really really nice right so it might be seem a little bit strong so i can just reduce the opacity All right let me just reduce the opacity a little bit maybe to about uh let's do 60 percent right and then with this i have this cool slideshow that's been done just few clicks now this is, does not extend to the end and the way we fix it is actually quite simple so just come down to the bottom here where we have all these icons that are here quite useful stuff and i'll click on this which is loop properties com footages and also i'll just want to click this and by so doing it will automatically stretch this to the end and apply loop animation as well so with this i have cool light clicks going on here right so uh, let's say we want to push this slideshow for that for instance right how do we do that so if i go back to the product and i can look for in one other product as well uh, let us try old theme constructor right so with this you can see the kind of results you can get so let us explore this right now you can see we have dust and scratches film asset these are really really high quality stuff right that will really take so much time for you to achieve right or that will make you want to go and subscribe to any stock footages website right but now you have them all in after effects which is really really interesting really really cool high quality stuff right so you can see um grains and stuff really really cool stuff 
like high quality so i'm actually very impressed with all of this so let us go to scratches and do some scratches and see what we can use to uplift our slideshow a little bit so uh i think i'd like to go with something really soft right or oh, let me do something that will be much more obvious maybe i'll just have to reduce the opacity at the end uh let me take my time to get up to the first frame here and i will just click on this So we already have this here and amazingly it has actually stretched it to the end now let's play this let's preview this really high quality stuff all right so you can see just simple clicks and few clicks i've already created a very solid slideshow right like i thought it would be is actually quite strong i can just click on this dust press t for opacity and then reduce it to about let's say 40 percent and then with that we can actually work with that so you can see what this can really do right so let's just even try and push it further let us try and check uh, maybe one or two other thing let's try and explore this frame let's see how that would look like so let's try this so as you can see this is really 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 cool right and you know from what i choose here it's i choose the frame that is tilted to the right a little bit and that's what you can see here and you know by by default right you upload that to do its track mat or whatever it is that he has done here and we have this solid you know cool slideshow so you can see how powerful this plugin is and you see how you can push this forward but just to remind you right um we have the purchased pack which i actually have access to so i just want to remind you that these are the free packs here which you can still do a whole lot of stuff with remember we use the slides to create the slideshow and this actually free right but then the light leaks and the old film is actually from the paid packs which i will encourage you to get so imagine what this is doing and if I can even go ahead and explore sound effects like some really really cool sound effects and these are actually the free ones right you can imagine what we have in the paid ones and then we have something for devices right 2.5 even for element 3d if you want to really do something that's to do with uh, mobile devices or laptop and things like that right so yes try and explore all of this and there's so much more you could you could get from this but i'm not i'm not going to stop here like i said i'm going to show you what all of this here can do and that's what i'm going to do now so just a quick one if you are really interested in getting all these bundles of packs that i've been showing you since make sure you check in the link in the description so you can actually have access to this all right let's get back to the video all right so i have this simple animation here so if i play this this is what i have right you can see the circle so let me uncheck this so you can see what i'm doing so this is the movement of the circle right just a little bit of overshoot there but now if i actually activate the square right and play this you can notice it's just you no know, linear keyframe so and if i actually check my curves i can go to the graph editor you can see the kind of curve that i have this is my value curve right and if i want to apply the same thing to this that means i have to do easy ease right and go to the graph editor and start tweaking it right but all of that can actually be done in just one simple click so i'm just going to change this back to linear keyframe and all i need to do is just alight this or before i even alight it so let me just show you so this is the A2's copy ease, right? I can see copy, paste, clone, right? So if I go to the settings here, you can see it has actually created shortcut for you. So you can actually change it if you want, but this shortcut is actually, actually good enough for me. So I'm just going to click OK. So I can actually just align this, then do Shift C, and then align this, and then just do Shift V. And then the E is actually being applied automatically so if i play this now right which is quite interesting right so let us look at some other things right so let's say for instance i want to repeat this animation right i want this to 
let me stretch this to the hand a little bit let's say for some reason i want to repeat this animation i might want to highlight all of this keyframe do ctrl c right and then do ctrl v but of course that will not work because after effect does not recognize copying keyframes in more than one layer basically this tools come in handy here so i can just highlight all of this and then i can just click on clone right the shortcut for that is shift z so all i need to do let me close this and i can just do shift z and then that will be pasted so if i play this now right so that's you know the use case right and this is actually going to make your work faster like really really fast so you don't have to waste your time dealing with the curves and all right and if i click on the browse you can see we have different kind of ease which is really helpful just in case you quickly just want to apply some quick ease into your animation right so you can actually work with that all right so we're looking at the shifter tools now the a 2 shifter which is quite an interesting script you can actually do a couple of things with this uh so now i have this animation right the same animation like i have the last time uh but now i would like to offset this right so what i can do is i can select these four layers right and i can select how i want it to stagger if i want it to stagger from the top to the bottom i'll choose this but if i want it the other way around i'll choose this so let's go with this first and i can select uh, how many frames do i want this to stagger i can do five frames click out and then i will just click on stagger before i do that i like to point out that this has to be in if you want to stagger it from the beginning so i'll just click on stagger right by so doing you can see that that's actually staggered them so if i play this now right which is really really cool so this is actually going to make your work really really fast instead of you trying to do this manually right so you can do this other one by clicking on this and also explore any of these options as well so let me also quickly show you the align i have all this layer selected now and i want them to align to this point all i need to do is to make sure all of the layers are selected make sure my time beginner is where i want it to be and i'll click on the in and everything will just align to this point so if i want it to align to target the out of those layers, I will just take my time to to where I want it to be and I will just click on this. Quite interesting stuff. When you get it, you can also try and explore other things that are here that are actually quite easy and simple to use. So we're actually going to move on to something else now. So I want us to also explore another type of pack that we have here. Quite interesting. And let me just quickly look for it. Uh, I think it's the pattern. Uh, it's actually quite interesting so let me just adjust this a little bit more right to see this very well you can see we have different kinds of pattern and these are quite interesting stuff and the beautiful thing about this is you can just apply to any shape right you can apply to any shape and if you apply it it will automatically do our format to it so let's look for one to use so let's use this right so i'm going to select the shape and i'm just going to double click on this and then by default you can see it has actually you know do our format to this and he has hidden some layers right so this is the pattern and this is the mat that is using so uh let me just check this so if i select this now everywhere i take it to you can see that the you know the patterns are actually attached to it so you can imagine what you can do with this with characters you know with other kind of you know illustrations so it's actually going to be really good and of course you can you know if you want to adjust this, you can select the pattern here and then adjust right and it's it's actually very useful so that's one thing i also like to show you right let's go on to the next one so the last thing i would like us to review is my pack and this is actually going to be my favorite thing here right it's actually going to be my favorite so let me just quickly show you so i actually have this already made animation here so if i play this right you can see this kind of ball you know animation here if you want a tutorial on this please let me know i will quickly do a tutorial on this it's quite easy and simple to do you might think maybe i have 1000 layers for me to be able to animate these balls no not at all you can say i only have two which actually i could have done it in one layer so maybe if you request uh, a tutorial for this i can actually do that in one layer and still 
able to achieve the same result okay so right now this is the animation i'm doing and i can see that this particular effect is something i would like to use in the nearest future or in other kinds of projects right that i might be working on so and i would like to save it so i can reuse it in other projects so what i'll do right is i'll i'll stop this for now and then i'll actually look for my pack it's actually in the purchase so you need to purchase my pack for you to be able to use it so let me open the purchase and then I will just search for it or I can just simply come here and type in my park and then there it is. So I open this up. This is what I'll see. So let me expand this some more. So what I'll do right now, making sure this is selected and this is the comp I'm working with radial ball review and I'll go to add. Make sure you trim your work area to where you want it to stop or be. And now I'm going to click on this first option preview plus AEP. So if I click on this. So it's actually going to do its magic, render, do all of that. Okay, so as you can see, right, you can see that I have my own pack here. So as soon as it's done, it's actually going to just have this here. So now this is the beautiful thing about this, right? So I can actually rename my folder and all of that. But now let me just show you the cool thing about this. So if I start a new project file, go to new. So this is my new project and I can create a new composition and just name it AE Juice Test. No, I'm just naming it whatever comes to mind right now. Not necessarily uh, something really serious. So I'm just going to change the frame rate to 30 seconds. Use, you know, full screen. And then this is entirely a new project. So for instance, I've finally seen an opportunity for me to use, you know, uh this animation and i don't want to recreate it all by again so all i need really need to do is go to my pack and as you can see it's already here right so all i really need to do is just double click it right and it's actually going to be importing and then it's already in so if i just play this now right so what this means is that you can actually bring in your already animated element or even a full-blown animation if you want to and then bring it in to after effect and for the fact that you can even preview it it's really really awesome so this is actually really really good too so uh, i would strongly advise you guys try and get the product and if if you are still in doubt you can probably start with the free pack right here that's it for the review i really hope you do enjoy the video you can see the ae plugin is actually quite robust quite a lot in short we barely scratched the surface on this one i'm pretty sure maybe in the nearest future i'll try to even do more reviews on this right uh i really hope you do enjoy this if you do make sure you give this video a thumbs up and if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and also click on that bell icon so you can get real time notification from me so that's it for me and i'll see you guys next time